Hi, my name is Mr. G, and I have a series of lesson plans for you that are based off lettering. Um, first of all, I wanna let you guys know the materials that you guys will need for today to do the project that we have at hand. Uh, one would be a ruler. Two would be a Sharpie. Two colors preferable. Three would be a pencil. And four would be a good eraser. Okay. And again, this is Mr. G's lesson on starburst lettering, okay? Welcome guys. So we're gonna start off with just drawing a letter. Just with this pencil here, I'm gonna draw, and I'm gonna do a G because that's the start of my name. And I want you guys to draw the letter pretty big. So to take up most of the paper. Second thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna make this line drawing into a block drawing. So I'm gonna expand on this. So so now I've made a block letter. And now I'm going to make a registration mark. And that's just one simple dot. So I'm gonna make a dot anywhere on the page, preferably kind of in the center of your letter, not off to the side. And you'll see why I say that to you in a minute. So I've made a dot. Right there is my dot, and that's gonna be my registration dot. I'm going to bring six, that would be six lines through this G and then we're gonna to start to break it off and to make our negative and positive space. So again, grabbing your ruler and your pencil, first line will go through your registration mark or the little dot that you made on your page. Now I will take and make my second. And I'm going all the way to the end of the page, okay guys? Don't have it not go all the way through the end of the letters. And again, you guys might make some mistakes. That's why we have an eraser. Okay, so I have three lines now. Now, this will be number four. And then again, make sure that you get all the way to the end. And again, don't worry about fine tuning your design. You're going to end up doing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna start looking at how I'm gonna wanna put my black fills. So if I'm gonna have this one be black, I always try to map out stuff, then I would have this one be black and this one. And I usually leave a little bit of a dot on there just so 
um, I know which ones I need to color what colors. And that was another reason that I asked you to make six lines or an even number of lines so that you can have an even dispersion of opposites or positives and negatives. Okay, so now I have some elements that I can already start to fill in in black. So I'm going to start to fill. And I want to give you guys a tip. When you guys are using Sharpies, you guys should try to color as even as possible and color all the way through what you're coloring through to the end so that you don't make darker marks on stuff. And I'll give an example of that now. So again, trying to get your fill so that it's a nice even fill and that you're not getting any areas that are lighter or darker than the other areas. You might have to go over stuff a few times to be able to get to that point. And then on the opposites, you are going to add what other color that you want. Let me show you an example of it when it would be filled just with black. So now you can start to see the letter shapes form and the letter forming with the black and opposite, uh, the black and white, and you're seeing negatives and positive space. Negative space would be the black, positive space would be the white. But we're gonna add another color to it, okay? So we're gonna add a green to it. And I have, so as I started to do this here with the black, let's say that I'm gonna work with green, I'm adding green opposite of it. So I'm running black, green, then black. So you're running opposites of your colors. And again, take your time, go a little bit slower than I am. Um, right now, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what things look like. And that's what you're gonna do throughout the whole piece. So somebody might go, here, where you're looking at something that is has a piece coming up, but there's sectioned off pieces, this would be green. Where this one would be black. And I'll fill those in real quick for you guys. And again, taking your time to get nice, even runs with your colors. And then something like this right here would be black. And then you're gonna work out through your whole piece that way. So I have an example of a finished piece. And there you can see how you formed your letter shape and how you gave it some contrast. Really cool thing to be able to work with um, when you're building up words and things of that nature. And I'll give you some examples of negative and positive space used in word graphics too. And there you go. I hope that you guys had fun learning how, about negative and positive space and applying it to a lettering technique. Thank you, my name is Mr. Greg, and I'll see you next time. <music>